back, mother. Support Bower Power and protect your important computer files at the same time. For only $4.95 a month, you can get unlimited cloud storage to back up your important computer files. That's about the price of a cheeseburger. Visit mosey.bowerpower.net now to check out special Mosey deals and offers. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Bower Power. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. twitter.com slash Pablo. And today i got a really great show for you. Uh, lately I've been showing you guys all about Bower Punchy Linux. And uh, this episode is really no different. I'm not trying to... Well, I guess I am a little bit trying to push Bower Punchy, but uh, I just kind of want to show you some of the cool tools that are on there. Uh, if you don't want to use Bower Punchy, that's fine. You, these tools are uh, available for regular Ubuntu Linux, too. Um, but you just have to install them yourself. Uh, with Bower Punchy, they're already installed for you. And available on the live CD and live USB. So, let's get right to it. Today, we're talking about cracking wireless, okay? But specifically, web, alright? Now, uh, I know you guys have probably seen it done before. Uh, everyone's cracking web. Um, but most of the time, you don't see it done in a GUI. And especially in Linux. Well, there's a new tool called Grim Weepa um, that's not only a uh, wireless web, web cracker, but it also will crack WPA as well. Um, now, the way you crack uh, WPA is a little bit different than web, so we're not going to do it today. Uh, basically, you're doing, a, a, once you get a three way handshake, you do a, a brute force attack, or I'm sorry, not a, like a brute force attack or, or a dictionary attack. So. Uh, with web, it's a whole lot easier. You just collect a bunch of the of weak um, IB packets, and after you got enough, um, the computer can just go through them and break the cipher. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you today is pretty interesting because uh, a company that I used to work for, um, I used to do IT work for, they used to, when I first started working for them, have wireless with lame web encryption. And not only did that, they had the cheesiest password of all time. So, in my test today, I set up a wireless access point, I encrypted it with web, and I set it with the exact same web key that they used to use in the company. Now, don't get any ideas, uh, they've already went ahead and uh, upgraded to WPA2, which is a whole hell of a lot harder to crack, and it's way more secure, so they're getting a little bit better, but... I'm serious. They try to make everything easy for every, like, for the users. But when you make things really easy, you also make it easy for the bad guys. So let's get right into it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to my desktop here, and uh, down here I have the icon for Grim Weepa. Go ahead and open it up. You have to be root, so we'll log in with my pseudo password. We'll wait for that to start up here. On some devices, you're going to want to shut off wireless, or else it's not going to work too good. So I'm going to disable wireless. And we'll do OK. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, Grim Weepa puts your wireless uh, adapter into monitor mode and changes the name to Mon Zero. All right. And we're going to check this box here that says all channels, and then we're going to refresh our targets list. And what it's doing is it goes out and it sniffs around trying to find uh, wireless access points around your area. So here we got um, my wireless access point that I set up for this demo. It's called HackMe, and it's using WEP. And there's my home router, as you can see, and it's using WPA2, which is recommended. So once we have you know, enough access points here, we can stop our scan. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our target. So this is our target this time, right? 
And all we have to do, we can also spoof, um, we can spoof our MAC address here. We only have one client this time. But it can kind of detect the local clients around there, uh, local MAC addresses, and it can spoof those. So that's really handy if you don't want to get caught. Because, by the way, this is illegal. So uh, make sure that you're only doing it in your own home test environment. You're not going out hacking your wireless, uh, your neighbor's wireless. Because that's bad juju, okay? And this is purely for information purposes only, right? Right? Just for education? Right? We all know that. Okay, so we have our web selected. We have. Um, we also have a bunch of different uh, attack methods here. We have ARP replay, which I find is pretty effective. You have chop chop, fragmentation, cafe latte, uh, P0841 attack. Um, we'll just slip, stick with ARP replay here. And if you want to, you can click test injection, and what it'll do is it'll test um, the uh, availability of hacking this wireless point. You can see how many packets it's able to inject in there, and you'll see the probability of being able to crack it. Since um, I'm pretty sure we're going to crack it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit start attack. All right. Start attack and it kicks it off. Now, this can take a while, so you're going to want to find something to do. Hey, what's up? Hey, Sundance, it's Paul. Hey, what's up, Paul? Hey, man, I got some time to kill. You want to go hang out? Sure, I guess. I ain't got nothing better to do. Cool. All right, welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, we've cracked the web key, and it was really easy. Let's go ahead and close out of Grim Weeper here. Um, before I do, though, you can see the web key there. Close out of that. But also, if you go to uh, open up your file system here, go to the pen test folder, wireless Grim Weeper. You'll see a pass.txt file in here. We open that up. This is where Grim Weepa saves its uh, findings, right? So now we have our web key, bam, and we have access to whatever wireless we were trying to get access to. Now, keep in mind, uh, once again, this is for educational purposes only. Don't go out and crack your neighbors. But uh, this is really easy to do, and it took it took a you know a little less than ten minutes to do it. Um, but you can speed it up and get it done even faster. Um, I found in my testing that if I took my cell phone while I was running Grim Weepa and I tried to gain access to the access point just using random passwords that I was trying out, didn't matter, they weren't the right ones, but it was generating enough traffic that it was, uh, you know, it was causing a lot of more packets to be captured by Grim Weepa and I was able to crack it. Um, I think the fastest time was like, I swear, like two minutes. So, and I'm pretty sure that's how the FBI does it too. They get a group of people, one guy's cracking, the other guys are hitting that access point, generating packets, and then bam, they got you, right? So theoretically, you know, hypothetically, you could go to a coffee shop that's still running web, 
uh, you can start running Gromufa and have two of your friends with iPhones start hitting that access point and bam, you guys are gonna have free wireless in probably five minutes or less. Um, but that pretty much concludes our show and hopefully you learn not to use WEP. And if you're using WEP at home, please, please, for the love of sweet baby Jesus, switch over to WPA2, okay? It's more secure and you're gonna be happy that you did. Um, if you have any questions about this segment or any comments, shoot me an email, info at bowerpower.net, or as usual, hit me up in the comments. Uh, but remember, until next time, here at Bower Power, information is power. <laughs>